Good morning to all of God's people wherever you are today. Uh, we pray that the Lord is blessing you and you're enjoying his blessings and that uh, you are being wise in everything that you do as we continually work our way through this uh, period. Uh, I, I just finished reading today uh, the book of Jeremiah. It was a long read and it was, seemed especially long after I had just finished reading the book of Isaiah and proceeded on to Jeremiah. Uh, the read through Jeremiah was an interesting read to me because the people of God was going through some very difficult times. The book is full of rebukes and warning and promises to the Jews. Uh, they had been misled by the lies of the false prophets and shepherd and they were now spending 70 years in the Babylonian captivity. But God in no way had given up on them nor disclaimed them as his people. And neither has he given up on us in this time in which we are going through this uh, period of, of uh, pandemic. Uh, it, it, to assure the people that uh, God, of God's promise and love to them, God promised them in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 10 through 14, he said, Thus says the Lord, when the 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you, and I will fulfill my promise and bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Uh, one day, as you can hear in this reading, one day the day of diff uh, their difficulties had come to an end, they were over, and God was restoring them back to their homeland. It uh, kind of goes to that saying that we love to console ourselves with that a trouble just don't last always. And the same way they overcame and were able to return to their land, the day will come, I believe in and trusting the Lord, that uh, our day will pass too and we will be restored and returned to a good place in our lives. So I encourage you as your pastor, uh, to keep your faith strong in the Lord, continue trusting in Him, for He has never, ever forsaken the righteous, and He will certainly not forsake you in these times. Uh, may the Lord bless you real good as you continue uh, working your way and being extremely careful in these pandemic times. Amen. <laughs>